Hello everyone, how's it going? Today I wanted to do another Red Dead guide, and I wanted to do one on robbery specifically. This guide has no spoilers, but I will mention one side activity unlocked in the story later on. In this guide, we are covering train robberies, store robberies, illicit businesses, and stagecoach robberies. For anyone wondering, at this moment you cannot rob banks. Banks are only robbable in certain story missions. They may be robbable in Red Dead Online, but there is no current way to rob them now. Now, let's get started with the one everyone is probably the most curious about, trains. Make sure you guys get dynamite. You guys can get it from the fence at Emerald Ranch. You will need this for later. I have noticed there are two types of trains, cargo trains and passenger trains. Cargo trains don't offer that much money and it isn't really worth going for them. It's easy to tell them apart by seeing the flat train cars. Most train cars do not have windows on them either. So how can you get a passenger train? The easiest way is to buy a ticket. You get a cutscene where you're transported to a station of your choice. Then, when you get off the train, it starts up again, which is the perfect opportunity to rob it. Don't worry about paying the ticket price, because it's minuscule. You will more than make up the difference. Now, if you are like me, and you have attempted numerous train robberies, you have noticed that the lawman response is extremely fast. It's ridiculous how quickly the lawman catch up to the train. Once you start robbing the train, they arrive so quickly, you barely have enough time to rob the whole thing. For some reason, even if you're in the middle of nowhere, the lawman will still get alerted. Do not rob trains in towns, because this will be even worse. The best approach is to rob trains when they leave town. If you want to avoid the lawman, I have found a trick. Go to any station except Valentine, and then buy a ticket to Valentine. Once you get there, get off the train and get on your horse. Put on your mask when nobody sees you. Wait until the train leaves, and then follow the tracks. You want to pass Cornwall's oil fields until you get to this tunnel. Wait right outside the tunnel. When the train passes, you jump on the front car right behind the engine. When you get in here, throw the driver out immediately and take over the train. Accelerate the train until the f first two cars are outside, then stop it. The reason that we are doing this is because when you start robbing the train in the tunnel, it takes the lawman a lot of time to realize you are in here. Eventually they will find their way in, but this gives you a huge window to clean out the train. When you stop the train, the guards will go after you. Clear them out as fast as possible, then run and start looting the train. Do not bother with picking up food, it's not really worth taking. Instead run back to the passenger cars. I have noticed the first two cars are first class with richer passengers. These have their nicer seats. They give you around $10 per passenger, just aim your gun at them and hit triangle on the PS4 to rob or Y on the Xbox One. I have found it's easier to just continuously aim your gun and move on to the next passenger instead of putting it down. I'm speeding this clip up now, but as you guys see, we are getting a really nice haul. After robbing a few passengers, you will get a $50 bounty. Do not worry, this will happen either way. The money you get will triple this amount, even quadruple it, so don't worry. Now, we are moving to the back cars, which are the lower class. They give you between 3 to $5 per passenger, and each passenger in the first and second class can give you jewelry as well. Once you rob all the passengers, head back to the front of the train. Do not head for the back car. If you do this, the lawman could see you. This is where the dynamite comes in handy. Most trains have at least two safes on them. Put the dynamite on the safe and ignite it. Get in cover, and when it blows, get everything you can in there. Here, we get a ton of extra cash. Once you detonate it, the bounty goes up just a small amount, but it's minuscule. Just avoid killing the lawman. Unfortunately, when I detonated the first safe, one lawman boarded the train from the front, so I ran to the back and got away. I still had a second safe, but I didn't want to go back there because I didn't want to kill them because then the bounty really stacks up, so avoid killing them. Once we escaped here, we made around $200 with all the cash and jewelry taken. If we did not take the train in the tunnel, we would have been swarmed by lawmen, but here, we brought our, bought ourselves a lot of time to really clear it out. So if you stop the train in tunnels, it'll take the lawman some time to figure it out that you're in there. And this will give you a perfect time frame to clean out the train and get all the money on there. Next, we have stagecoach robberies. These you unlock after you complete the mission Friends in Low Places for Josiah. When you complete that mission, you unlock two station attendants, Alden and Hector. Alden is located at Rhodes train station, and Hector is located at Strawberry Mail station. These do not appear on the map unless you get very close. When you go and talk to them, they will give you tips on stagecoach routes for a price. It is always $2 from what I have seen. When you purchase info from them, they give you a note. Make sure you read it, or the stagecoach won't spawn. Also, pay attention to any tips they may give you. The note usually provides info on how much security it will have. Some stagecoaches are unguarded, while others have multiple guards and even multiple coaches. 
If you are robbing one of no guards, you can just yell at the driver to stop and they will. This will avoid you having to shoot anyone. Make sure you not kill the main riders because sometimes they have valuable info, as in this case I needed to know where the lockbox is. If the coach has guards, do not even bother asking them to stop because you will be a sitting duck. In that case, you will have to ambush them. Find a spot that covers the route well and wait for them. Make sure your Deadeye core is all the way up as this will help you deal with multiple targets. When it comes to setting an ambush, dynamite will also come in handy. Place it down in the route the coach is taking. When they drive over it, shoot it and you will kill all the enemies around it. Just make sure you plant it somewhere you can see it because when you plant it on the road, it's really easy to lose track of it. Here I put it down on a rock and I knew exactly where it would be and I was able to easily kill everyone and make a nice amount of money. The stagecoach missions also get harder over time, so make sure you remember that. Your biggest threat on these missions will not be the NPCs that you're fighting. It will actually be witnesses. Keep in mind that they are driving on roads. NPCs could come from either direction at any time. Here a witness saw me after I robbed the coach. You can threaten most witnesses and they will stand down. Some won't. Here this guy did not want to and I had to shoot him. Be very careful because last thing you need on these missions is for someone to call lawmen and you get a bounty. So always keep an eye out for witnesses and if you see them, try to threaten them. If they don't go along with it, just kill them. Lastly here we have store robberies and illicit businesses. Store robberies in my opinion are not really worth it. The usual amount in registers is between $20 to $30 and you get a $20 bounty either way and it's annoying to escape from towns especially if you rob a St. Denis store. However though there are illicit businesses. These are secret illegal businesses in the back room of some stores. If you want to check if the store has it go to the back and if you see a big black door this means there's an illegal business in the back. The first illicit business you can encounter early in the game is in Valentine located in the doctor's office. There's a big black door there and in the back when I ran, the, ran around the back outside I saw through the window that they are running an illegal business. The O'Driscoll gang has some kind of operation back here. To hold them up, go to the front counter and rob the doctor. Force him to open up the back door. After he opens it, make sure you use dead eye because there will be a lot of enemies in this room. Once you clear the room out, get the money on the table and collect the Schofield revolver. This is a great gun to get early in the game. Unfortunately, you get wanted during this robbery either way. If you are very quick, you can lasso the lawman that comes inside and they will stay in investigation mode. No more will come inside after that. Then clear the rest of the room out, make sure you also blow the safe. Then run out the front door and run away. Don't kill anyone else because you will lose money with your bounty going up. The next illicit business is at the Saint Denis gun store. In here there is another black door. Go and knock on it first. If you don't knock on it, you won't have the option to rob them when you rob the guy at the counter. Then go and hold the guy at the counter up, tell him to open the back door. In this case, he will block the door. Just melee him with your gun, then threaten this door guard. He will eventually tell you there's an illegal poker game on the third floor. Do not forget to collect the cash from the register on this one, as you won't be detected. Head upstairs, and when you get up there, melee this guy quickly, because he will attempt to shoot you. After that, get the money on the table, but you are not done here yet. Threaten this guy here. He will break pretty quickly and tell you the guy next to the safe knows the combo. This will prevent you from having to use dynamite on it. Collect the money in the safe and do not forget there is a gold nugget on the desk. I tied them up afterwards to be safe. I wouldn't have any witnesses. I didn't want them running outside and getting a wanted level. And that is that for this guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Any questions, post them down below and I'll try my best to answer them. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you're new to my channel and enjoy my content, then subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.